So guys, on this show, I frequently cover stories that demonstrate just how little we actually know about the food we eat. But America's not only in the dark about genetically modified foods in comparison to the rest of the world. There are also plenty of ingredients frequently found in our grocery stores that you will never see in other countries. Why? Because they're illegal. So for the sake of becoming better informed consumers, let's just go over about five of these chemicals that are part of our daily diets. Starting with artificial food dye, which is in practically everything we eat, from soft drinks to mac and cheese. But artificial dyes are derived from chemicals, and these chemicals are derived from petroleum. You know, that highly toxic black sludge that makes the world go round. Taking that into consideration, it should come as no surprise that artificial food dyes have been linked to nerve cell damage and brain cancer, which is why you won't find them at grocery stores in Norway, Finland, France, or the UK. Unlike the U.S., those countries are willing to trade in that delicious yellow dye number five for the overall well-being of their, their people. There's Olestra, which is commonly found in fat-free potato chips and french fries. Although it's designed to lower calorie counts, it's also been linked to anal leakage and vitamin depletion. Olestra is currently banned in the U.K. and Canada. Next up, brominated vegetable oil. It's found in sports drinks and lemon-lime sodas because it makes food dye stick to liquid. Unfortunately, it's also used as a fire retardant. Not really something you want to be consuming. And with something so toxic, it's unsurprisingly been linked to organ failure, birth defects, and schizophrenia. This chemical retardant is now banned in over 100 countries, but not here in the U.S. of A. Then comes azodicarbonamide. It's a common ingredient in breads, frozen dinners, and box pasta. Basically, it's bleach used to turn baked goods white. However, it's also used to bleach things like yoga mats. <laughs> Look, if you can hardly pronounce the name of something, it's probably not something you want to be eating. So maybe we should take a cue from Australia, the UK, and most of Europe, and ban it too. And finally, there's just straight up arsenic. <laughs> yes, poison. And unfortunately, it's included in chicken feed, which ends up in your chicken dinner. And I'm not quite sure why it's being used, because we all know that arsenic is toxic and deadly if you ingest enough of it. That's why the EU has banned the use of it in poultry altogether. Thoroughly disgusted yet? I know I am. What's worse is that the Food and Drug Administration is supposed to be one of the only groups that identifies the harm in these foods, so they can keep it as far away from our plates as possible. Oh, right. That would probably require the government to cut the stream of tens of millions of lobbying dollars that's pumped into Congress from chemical corporations. But surely it can't be that hard considering how many other countries have already done this. Don't you think it's time that the FDA start looking out for our health instead of their pocketbooks?